player pop cult fan here and yeah I know I took a it's been a little while and about a week and I need to cap off my series of horror movie reviews or just here series of horror reviews and I'm pretty sure I want to end it off with Stranger Things <laughs> yes yeah, Stranger Things the TV show the Netflix TV show, which just had its second season premiere on Halloween... Or was it Halloween Day? Or it was last week, I think. Yeah, it premiered last Friday. So, yeah. Stranger Things Season 1 was really good. Stranger Things Season 2 was really good. Because it follows a group of kids, it follows a group of teenagers, it follows a group of, of adults... Just, uh, you know, a bunch of characters and a bunch of 80s nostalgia because it takes place during the 1980s and we see so much influence from so many 80s horror films. Stephen King, Steven Spielberg, John Carpenter, you name it. If you're an 80s fanatic, you'll love this show. Especially since this show has... A lot of really good actors. We know the writer as the mom, the main mom, I guess you can say, and um, David Harper as the sheriff or ch chief or whatever you want to call him, uh, Chief Hopper, that's his name, and of course the kids, Millie Bobby Brown as Eleven, and Finn Wolfhard as Mike. Just, all the acting is just really great all across the board. It's a really good show, and the first season of the show um, featured the Demogorgon, which was very alien-inspired. There's a lot of, um, a lot of the Demogorgon reminds me of the alien, you know, the Xenomorph from the alien movies. <laughs> I don't know why, but there is some of that, um, this um feel to it you know like how it um sort of acts you know it, it is an animal so yeah i mean yeah so in season one the main monster villain of of the first season was the demogor demogorgon very cool very <laughs> monstrous and then the second season was that giant spider shadowy figure thing I, I forget what it was called, <laughs> but <laughs> it, it definitely made it a more personal um, vendetta. Like it, well, no, I mean, not personal, but you know what I mean. Like it, um, if you guys have seen the season, you'll, you'll see how this uh, shadowy monster thing was affecting Will psychologically, and that was very intriguing. Um, yeah, that was definitely very, yeah, it just definitely made it more personal, you know, it, it, it was such psychologically damaging will and changing him, possessing him, that was a very intriguing part of that season, as well as some new things that they tease going forward, like, um, the other kids that were experimented on during all those government experiments, that have been teased and I think we will see more of those other kids which we saw a little bit of in season two so that's something intriguing and especially some new characters that were some other new characters that were introduced in season two like Max she's cool um just yeah um I really like the season one of the show and season two they definitely are like really good just on like both are on both seasons of the show are just about the same um a level of excitement and nostalgia and awesomeness and yeah that's my thoughts on stranger things both seasons i give both seasons an a so yeah that's my thoughts on stranger things and this caps off my series of horror reviews so thank you guys so much for watching. I'm not sure what my next video will be. Actually, I do know what my next video will be. It'll be a review of Thor Ragnarok, which might not um, uh, which I might not be able to do that video until maybe Tuesday. 
um, because I'm not going to be able to see it until Monday night with my best friend Sean, as you guys know, a.k.a. Cash of Oz on his channel. And <laughs> we're gonna try. We're gonna try and see Thor Ragnarok on Monday night. Hopefully, I'm gonna try and see it. And when I do, I'm gonna review that movie for you guys. So look forward to that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you all in the next video. Peace.